Hey guys, this is Akshay with Honey Creek Tackle. We're here with the brand new 2024 Icon LX21. This thing is beautiful. Picked it up Thursday evening, came back from the factory. Uh, took a tour, Jason and I did. It was mind blowing what they did with this boat. Jacob Wheeler Design, got number 250 Mercury on the back of it. We come up here, we got the underwater lighting. Kind of nice Rhino Line Gator Hide trailer, F2 Jet, XLT winch. They got their integrated trailer with the step handle. It's just an awesome boat. 98 inch wing, super wide, probably the widest in the industry. It's fantastic what they did, how they designed this, this boat. Um, Icon has been around used to make hydro sports um, they're known for their yachts they make hcb custom fishing yachts we got to see those it was just incredible what they did to design those you saw the 43 footers the 65 footers you see twin triples six e12 it was unbelievable guys no problem no problem at all fully padded front deck um, they give you options for different mounts you get double stack side by side triple stack uh, boat logics mounts actually so they're really good quality awesome finish deck, these lids. I mean, I'm a relatively bigger guy here and minimal minimal flex it's incredible what they did with this boat they give you this extra large step here which is actually a cooler and this cooler will hold 10 pound of ice 24 water bottles I mean it's just a massive massive cooler it's been sitting out the past three days this actual plano box still is cold which is actually pretty amazing we come up here to this huge box I mean so much room in this thing. You got 26 spots for Planos. You put your spot kits, your scents, tool holders right here. All of this slides for so much storage. I mean, it's incredible how they designed this lid. You got rigid lights here, which actually shines the whole front deck. It's just amazing what they did with this. And actually everything has striker plates. It doesn't hang on the fiberglass, which is actually a really neat design right here. Really cool. And we come to my right here. We have my stay box. Super deep. It just pops out if you need to. And that, everyone's issue right there, is the fire extinguisher. There's a dedicated spot strapped down so it is not going anywhere. And you ain't got that extinguisher rolling around random compartment getting beat up over here is the rod storage you could probably get easily what do you think 40 rods in there probably it's just incredible what they do they give you this kind of sea deck foam right here so your rod ends reels won't beat up on the actual fiberglass itself i mean super deep storage i think they claim you can get a nine foot eight inch rod they're just massive what they did with this and what's also kind of cool is how the lid opens up fully. So you don't get that kind of angle to it. It is fully exposed, which is actually a really sweet feature. And as you can see here in the well, in the trough here, if you would, how deep that is. I mean, no water is going to be ended up overflowing into your rod box with how they designed that kind of neat deep trough right there. And all your lids have these little bump stops where your actual lid rest on with this really nice gasket right here so minimal minimal water residue in these boats it's just unbelievable how they designed this and we come over here to your starboard box same concept you get about 25 26 rods additional life jackets extra tackle storage whatever you want to put in there you got plenty plenty of room for it it's just 
fantastic how they designed this boat. I mean, 98 at the beam, huge front deck, what more can you ask for? Now this is actually probably one of my favorite features, is this console storage right here, which comes up with this heavy duty, it's almost like a scissor bracket going on here. It's actually it's reinforced, so you can lead all this, and it's not gonna bust. You know, it's also really sweet how they engineers did this. Easy access to the back of your graphs, all your cables, hydraulic steering, all right there, guys. It's just mind blowing how they how they did this boat. It's just I'm still lost for words how we how we saw all this stuff in the factory. It's just incredible what they did. You come down to the cockpit. You have this nice honeycomb mat all over the bottom for your footrest right here, all on the bottom of the console. Just sweet. I mean, you don't slip. Water will just wash right off of it. You know, fish blood just comes right off. This right here could be a secondary cooler, extra storage. I mean, you got, you know, little nets here. You put candy bars, maybe a sandwich if you want to. It's not getting kind of soaked by water. All these have interior lighting inside. Even the cooler is kind of sweet. I mean, probably the coolest thing about the boat is how the LED light system works on this boat. Come down to the seats. These seats are actually super comfortable. They're firm and yet soft. If that makes sense. They're firm and soft. They don't. They're not super tight, so you get that nice fit around your body. These pop right off. You know, if you get hooks stuck in them or something, they're replaceable, no problem. Even the backs as well. They have a six suspension spring system in the seats for those rough water rides. It's just incredible how they designed that how heated it is to operate it. Push right back in. In the console here, this one's set up for no graphs right now. We're gonna rig it ourselves. But you can get a single graph, a dual graph, uh, also boat logic as well. Super sweet. Steering wheel, adjustable. You got your dual blinker systems, your jack plate for your trim. You have secondary options because everything is built in your boat control is right here with this screen with this screen they actually designed this in factory and how everything operates off this screen so you got your bolts you know engine tip uh fuel tank get your icon gauge i'm sorry just gonna step here you got your trim uh you got your fuel or sorry your miles per hour get your icon gauge power to your helm and your bow, got your pump outs, and a bunch of other options, accessories, go back, got your bow, stern light, also another accessory spot, you have your courtesy lights, so you hit this button, that's got the lighting system on the bottom here, it's the passenger and the driver, courtesy lights, so this is every box is lit like we talked about. So they have this set up very nice for these lights, early morning, late evening, it will light up the whole front deck. It is, it's phenomenal what they did to that. I, I'm still, like I said, lost for words here. And then optional, um, you want to put with it, or you might have one here with it, deck lighting. They have this little rigid pod system around the front deck. And they're RGB, so you can change them any color you want. Pretty sweet feature. And they actually light up the more of the deck. How small they are. Come here, a little fishing hack up. Battery voltage, fuel tank, live well. Now, that is a sweet feature. You can actually see the temperature of your live well. I mean, actively. It is kind of bar none of how you can see that. You can tap, make sure the fish aren't too cold, make sure not too hot. It's pretty cool. You can control that. And another feature is is their L2 live well system where you can actually adjust the temperature so the fish aren't getting too stressed or the water change and pull them out, put them back in the water, it won't kill them. It's unbelievable how they did that. And also you have your battery cranking bolt right there. So this boat does not have troll motor batteries yet, just a cranking battery, that's why it's kind of off, but that is to come. Now this is the probably the sweetest thing about this is how you can fill Research by just a tap of a button. 
and pop out. You have auto and manual. Um, the fish IV is what this belt has, which we'll get back there and talk about that. This right here, you hit that button. So if you, a G Juice guy, there's a reservoir back there that you can literally put G Juice in. And it every, you can, it's on a timer, 15 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute, up to, I believe, 90, 90 minutes per time. It actually injects G Juice into the live wells for you, which is phenomenal. It's just, just mind blowing how they have set this boat up. And then the last thing, you know, if you got like me, you like to listen to music, you know, mess around for the day, you have a built in radio. It's a fusion system. You have two speakers, one next to your driver's seat, one in your passenger seat. And they are loud and they sound awesome. And these speakers that are here are hands down probably one of the best I've heard so far in a bass boat. I mean, just, it's crazy how they do that. And you got Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth radio, so we got, you know, Amazon music, Apple iTunes music. Spotify, it does everything. It also has your FM radio. I believe it's AM too, but I don't know if you use AM anymore. But it's got that if you want it. Now, the seats, the back of the seats is actually the coolest feature. Another cool feature of the boat is how they're actually fiberglassed around the whole seat. And they actually reinforce it right here to prevent it from cracking. And it's all customizable, so you can do your own colors if you want to. I mean, the boats, they have set colors for the actual boat itself and the lightning bolt on the side. Uh, they have actually custom colors too if a guy wants some, you know, purple flake, or sorry, purple boat with orange flake, they can do that, which is actually really sweet. And then if you've got it has a logo or wants to see the company logo or something, they can put it in your headrest. They'll literally embroider the logo in your headrest. And speaking of that, they actually do all Pretty much everything in the boat, aside from your graphs, the engine, the trolling motors, they build everything in house, which is all. I mean, you, you can't get any better than that. You really can't get any better than that. And come right here to the live wells. These are saltwater grade live wells, which, if you notice the blue, that's what you see in those offshore saltwater boats. I mean, they. They designed this. They took a lot of their yacht systems, functions, they put it in this boat right here. The 35 gallon live well, separate research, separate fill, uh, separate pump. I mean, it's just it's beautiful what they did. Uh, that, that is awesome. You know, as Jason's painting through there, you can see, you know, the nice, deep, big, you know, they actually fill the top of the live well so you don't get that sloshing water around. You know, the fish slime coat can get worn off. That's their protection barriers, their slime coat. That comes off, you put them back in the lake. The lake's full of parasites. I mean, it could be not a good day for the fish. So they have definitely engineered this. The science behind this is just far enough. It's, it's awesome. I'm still, like I said, lost for words. I probably took that tour. storage bins in the back and you can see just how deep these bins are and kind of a neat feature because you know a lot of guys they throw you know their spikes and their garlic sands and they leak out you get that weird lime green residue in there they've actually designed this these come out fully and you don't see the bottom of your bare boat all fiberglass it's just fantastic. Got your bus bar back there. Easy access when you need it. It's definitely an awesome feature of what they did. Before we get too far, they also give you a remote live wall drain plug. I'm sorry, a remote boat drain plug. So in and out right there. So if you, if you like me and forget, you can just hit that switch right next to you. You're good to go before you get dumped in. Come back here. This, this is really sweet. Right, these kind of bat wing style. Clear compartment action. So you see, we got our cranking battery. And the biggest thing I see here, you know, from the sales aspect is how they mount that charger. I mean, you ain't got to go crawl back in the boat, have that awkward position to 
the whole charger out. It's just right there, easy to get to, no problem to swap it out if you have a charger issue. They built all, which we saw this is really, really cool, they built all their wiring harnesses in house. And they have, I don't know how big this wall was, of <laughs> wiring harnesses. It was just fantastic. I mean, you can easily get five batteries back here, no problem at all. Um, if your leads, with how they actually measure the leads out, it is like the perfect distance you know, all that extra hanging out. They have a real clean setup back here. And you can also see that same concept, that big deep drop, the rubber stops. It's just sweet how they have these lids come up. And actually, you can take the whole lids off in a minute. This is awesome how they designed that because you get that, you have to get in there real quick, take the lids off, no problem. And around the center, all your access to your pumps, no issue whatsoever. They really took their time to design these boats, guys. It's just beautiful what they did. And on the right over here, you can see that's your fish IV container right there. Where you fill your G juice up. Actually, I'm happy it pumps it in for you. It's, it's just how they designed this. It's just mind blowing. Beautiful, beautiful, big. I mean, you got player on here, no problem whatsoever. And one last feature, which is kind of sweet, is the wireless charging bag. And it might look small right now, how it is, but you can actually extend that to get it full. You know, got those guys with iPhone 14 Pro Maxes, those big old screens, it'll fit no shoe at all. And then the splash well, everything nice, tucked, and hidden for the most part. It is just, they took their time designing these boats. It's just fantastic what they did. Um, they come with Atlas hydraulic, you get the Bob's hydraulic, the tennis jack plate. So you can you need both those options. Um, Mercury 250s right now. It's just, it's a lot to take in and we're, we're getting there. So check back later guys, we have more videos and we'll get some rigging videos and we'll, we'll get her on the water for you guys to get a video on there. Check back soon.